Ladies and gentlemen, when you browse chess games here on YouTube, you're most likely to discover some of the games of the masters, the best players currently living or throughout history. But in this video, I'm going to show you the dumbest chess game I've ever seen in my life. And hopefully the dumbest chess game you have ever seen in your life that you yourself have not played. Shout out to Daniel Guan who sent this to me. I've got nothing else to say. Let's go back. We are in the year 1983 and we are in Holland. Christoph Vandeloo has the white pieces. M. Hessling has the black pieces. I don't know his first name or her first name for that matter. I, I actually don't know who that is. Um, and this is one of the few games on this channel I'm going to have an eval bar because that's how exciting this was. Pawn to e4, pawn to e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4. So far, so good in Italian. Nowadays, players play bishop c5, c3, knight f6, d3, and they maneuver. But back then, we got knight to g5. Knight to g5 is known as the fried liver after knight f6 to go after the f7 pawn. Nowadays, the main line is d5, and after pawn takes, you play knight a5, and or knight d4 is a very interesting system. But black was ahead of their time. Black clearly had foreseen that some 38 years later, a Traxler video from one Gotham chess would hit YouTube, and they were well prepared, and they played the move Bishop to C5. Now, the engine hates it, but my engine is on a low depth. That's why it's showing plus 1.6. The Traxler is one of the most insane openings that exists, and the point is that after Knight takes F7, which forks the Queen and the Rook, Black has this dynamite strike, Bishop takes F2, check. Now, computers move 25 to 30, so 20 moves beyond this point have proven that white in the Traxler is okay and can get a, a computer advantage, like 0 0.7, 0 0.8. But who has the time to memorize 25 moves and tons of branches of variations? Right, so, it's, so king takes f2, let me just take the bishop. And now, rather than losing my queen or my rook, or defending one of them, I'm gonna go knight takes e4, check. This attacks the king and frees up the queen. The king goes to e3. This is one of the moves of the Traxler. The other move is to just tuck the king back here. Now, normally, queen h4 is played in this position with black. Uh, the point being that you defend the knight and you threaten queen f4 uh, check. But black plays queen e7, which is not a very popular move because it loses. It's a losing move according to modern day analysis. White should now take the rook. Uh, and white can survive this position. But... In this game, white played the move c3, and I can only imagine that the plan was to prevent something from coming to d4, like if queen c5 check, for example, you have this, and then you have a barrier here, right? And then so you can always like take and hide your king. That was the point. The thing is that the move c3 in the game did not prevent knight d4 at all, but after knight d4, the position is plus five. It's plus five. But it's plus five if, and only if, you do not take the rook, you do not take the knight, and you do not take this knight. It is only plus five if you play d3. d3. That is the only way. Just wait for a move, and black has uh, no threats. It looks like there are threats after knight f5 check, but you're completely safe in the center of the board, as idiotic as that looks. So... Instead, white takes the knight, and oh, here we go back down. Now it's 0.00, .00 queen h4 check, king goes back to e3, and black plays the move d5. Now this looks absolutely terrifying. Look at what the eval bar is going to say. It's saying plus 3, right? But watch this. Watch this. Takes. This is the point. And oh, actually, the eval is now back down a little bit, and the computer is going to actually realize that it has the position incorrect because the only move that you have is to go to c4, right? But now, after this move b5 check, oh, 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 actually black is winning. Oh, the computer does not understand the position unless you add depth to it. You need to boost the computer's rating a little bit for it to understand what's going on. So this king is now being hunted out. And by the way, just for the record, anywhere the knight moved would have been a discovered check. But white is up six points of material. So check here. And now the position is completely lost for white. Completely lost. 
The only way that this is completely lost, though, is if the queen finds a way to get to the king. How's the queen gonna do that? By the way, notice that this rook has been hanging since, like, move five. This knight arrived on move five, and white's king has been basically hunted to death. And now there is a breathing moment, but there is a winning move here for black. And black spots it, and the move is queen to h4 to bring the queen back to e7, at which point it's essentially checkmate. Like, that is mate. Queen e7 is essentially mate. So, what is the only way to prevent getting checkmated? You can try to pause here and find it. This entire game will basically be a riddle. Uh, how do you get out of getting mated? It's actually incredibly difficult to spot this move. So, it has to do with getting your, queen, uh, your king more access. So, you're not going to go here. You can't really go back because then I hunt you down with my A-pawn and still mate you with my queen. The move is this. Knight takes e5 because now the king attacks the knight. And if I check you, you go here and you're safe again. And now you're up 10 points of material. Okay, great. So knight takes e5. Now the only move for black to get an advantage in this position once again is to castle long. Long castle. So the rook now pressures the bishop. The queen patrols the entire area over here. And again, white has one and only one move that does not lead to force mate. Every other move is force mate. C4. How does that not lead to force mate? Well, you're trying to get C takes B5 on the board and escape down the C file backwards. That's the only way you're going to escape. Also, you needed to defend against rook takes bishop. Rook takes bishop was a massive threat. Um, so, c4. But rook takes bishop still appears! Wait a minute, I thought we just defended against that. c takes d5. Oh, black has backup. So now, white is up 9 points of material, but it's mate in 14 moves by force. If black finds it. White plays the move knight to c3. And now, in this position, there is a winning move for black which forces checkmate, and white would need to sacrifice all their material. What is that move? What, I what is the move? Because you start looking for this check, that doesn't do anything. That check, that check, just takes. Knight e6 is actually very scary looking. Uh, you cannot take it, because then the queen teams up with the rook, and after check, here, check, here, check, anywhere you move, it's mate. So, knight e6 is pretty scary. But king takes b5 is on the board, which is why I said this is one of the dumbest games I've ever seen in my life. So knight c3, the only move that wins the game here, or at least forces mate, is a5. That's called a mating net. You are trying to weave a mating net. You take away all the king's escape squares. Has no moves now. And here's the threat. The threat is this. Let's say um, you go a3. Something like a3? Watch this. Queen f6. But I thought, I thought king takes that. Yeah, queen b6. Look at you getting crisscrossed applesauced in the middle of the board. Okay, so we can't play a3. So what will we play to prevent mate after queen f? Let's take this pawn. Yeah, so after that, the force mate is queen takes knight. It's a force mate where you die very slowly. You don't get checked. You just, I just get closer and closer, and then your king runs out of squares. If you try to run away like this, check, here, knight takes knight as checkmate. Yeah, I mean, when your king is the most advanced piece, and the army behind it is worth 22 points, it's probably bad. You're probably going to lose. So, in the game after knight c3, black did not find the move a5, and instead opted for knight to c6. Which, as you can see, goes from m14 to 0, 0, 0. After the move, knight c6. And here, white plays one of the most disgusting moves I have ever seen in my life, ever, ever. And I've played a lot of games, and I've watched a lot of games, and I've thought of a lot of chess moves. So here's the thing. If you play king c6, then after queen b4, it's bye bye you are banished to the shadow realm because you're just getting mated. If you take with the pawn, then after queen d4, king b5, you are getting banished to the shadow realm once again. And if you take with the horsey, then it's a very swift death. You die with queen c4 mate. It's just mate. So you cannot take the knight, but you can play this move. Now tell me this is not the stupidest move you've ever seen. If 
you are looking at the position correctly, yes, b takes a4 is a possibility. But after knight takes knight, white's king is not only safe, white maintains a three-point material advantage, and white is potentially better. The only way for black, black to do anything is to threaten mate again, and you would play b3, and somehow white just keep, keeps playing the damn game. Keeps playing the damn game. Okay, well... Black just doesn't take the queen at all and plays queen e7 check. King takes b5. And now black has to play knight takes knight. To threaten bishop d7, among other things. But then there would be check here, and the king would escape. The king would escape. That, and this, this position is apparently, uh, is apparently equal. What is the computer saying? Rook d6? Oh, then... Oh, oh. Queen a5, rook b6? Is its it... Is it this is, oh, 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 no, it's still winning for black. So, rook d6, rook b6, and cut the king off on the a-file. And that, that's the way black would win this position. So, knight takes e5, yes. Knight takes e5 would have been the only way for black to play on. And finally, black did something dumb themselves. Black played queen takes e5. And now we go from mate in 14 to equal to minus 5 to plus 5. Plus 5. Why? Because of queen c4. And now white is still up 7 points of material, and the king is no longer getting mated because it has a safety net. Knight d4 check, king to a4, bishop d7, alright, great. It's time to bring the king back home. Wait, it's not time to bring the king back home, because knight c2. And we might get a repetition of moves, which would be depressing. No repetition of moves. No, nope, the king goes back forward. Not only does the king go back forward, knight c6, the king, the, the king ain't slowing. Aren't you, aren't you happy you clicked on this game? It was such a clickbaity title, but isn't this so worth it? This is better than any movie. Anyway, king a6, knight to b8, and if white was a super GM, white would have just repeated moves. But white is not a super GM. So white took on a7, and now it's made in five again. It is made in five again, but it's made in five again in a very, very specific way. A mating net once again, queen to d6. Threatening, I'm not even sure what is being threatened. I think what's being threatened here is queen b6 and something moving to c6. So for example, in this position, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Right now the threat is mate on b7. Okay, wow. Uh, so knight a4, that's the threat. It's queen b6, okay. And if queen b3, queen a6. So there's no way to prevent check and mate on b7. And if you play knight a4, then I just take and I threaten. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. Okay, sounds good. Excellent. Question asked, question answered. c6 played in the game. To try to play queen c7, queen b7. But that move doesn't win. c6 is now advantage for white because queen c7 can be prevented with the absolutely savage move knight b5. And you cannot take because you are pinned. So now black plays bishop f5, looking to get a 7th rank mate somehow. So white just plays d4, rook d7 check, and the king is mated to a8. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Aren't you so happy you clicked? Queen e7, and the simplest of pawn takes pawns. Bishop e4, pinning my pawn to my king I put in the corner voluntarily. d5, breaking the pin, but after bishop takes d5, you are out of options. You have to take. So now you have sacrificed a queen. You are only up two points. Knight a7 check. King d8, king takes knight. And now we go from plus four to minus to, to minus everything. The game is over in, in six moves. It's force mate. It's force mate. Queen before check is force mate. King a8, king c7, bishop f4 check, you take, the king's mated. King's mated. But queen c7 check first and rook a5. Also looks like mate, right? I mean, it's mate. Queen c8 is mate. Queen a7 is mate. Rook a7 is mate. Check. Check. Rook takes bishop. Check. Can't mate me if I'm checking you. Check. Rook d7. 
who's mating who? Because when you go here and I go here, uh, you could take as many pawns as you want. I'm going to protect my king and then I'm going to make a queen. You are about to get ladder mated even though my king's on the same rank as your king. Rook c5, c7. Hello. If you take, discover check. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Queen g4, check. And let's not forget, I want to give everybody a turn. I want to give everybody a turn. Everyone's going. The A and the B pawns are going too. H5, A5, H4, B5, H3, Knight c6, H2. And Rook takes g7. And if queen g7, c8. But of course you would promote to a rook because that would... After rook takes g7, black resigned. Black resigned because there's nothing to be done. If you play a move like queen c8 check, I go here, I pin your queen to your king. And the move b5 was useful because it defended the knight. And black resigned. Black resigned because you cannot prevent all the different ladders and c8. Um... Well, folks, one thing is very fitting about this game. The fact that it was played in Holland. It's very clear that these two players must have um, inhaled something of the smoky variety prior to this game. Now, the other thing to, to mention is that, on a serious note, the Traxler counterattack against the fried liver, first of all, the fried liver, and second of all, the Traxler counterattack are some of the most insane lines in all of chess. And for the beginners watching, you can have a lot of fun with it. And for the advanced players watching, you can uh, dig into this with some engine prep and, and really make it a powerful weapon. But I had to share this game because I just don't get to share games that look like this very often. So as always, if you enjoyed, you made it this far, you managed to watch, and uh, you still think that some of the games you play might look even dumber, well, that's an achievement in and of itself. Um, uh, if you guys have any other solo games you'd like to show me, do send me them or leave them in the comments. I'd love to go through them, make videos about them, make funny thumbnails about them, and show them to all of you. Till next time, I'll see you in the next video. Get out of here.